Yo, everybody. Okay. Garrett Sussman here. I pull rank. Google I.O. is happening and there's a lot to unpack. It's still going on right now, but I think they've done most of the search stuff and I want to tackle it. So right out of the gate, major announcement. SGE, that mouthful is now called AI overviews. Um, so I have to go and rewrite three articles, redo a webinar, maybe change our SGE report to the AI overview report. Anyway, easier for normal non-SEOs to take in. So the AI overview, it's rolling out. It's rolling out today. This thing is going live. And so it's going to be in the SERPs. The impact we don't know how people will feel about it. I mean, we had the open AI announcement around their voice assistant yesterday. AI is becoming more and more mainstream. A couple of really interesting um, developments from Google I.O. So first off, not only are we going to see AI overviews now in the actual search engine result pages, but we're having this AI organized page. So a more comprehensive result, not just the overview, but it will be able to do what they're talking about is this multi reasoning search responses. So if you ask their examples where like, say you want to find, you know, a yoga studio that was within walking distance that costs a certain amount, or if you want to plan an event, or if you want to do meal planning for three days, in theory, AI overviews will be able to actually do multi-step reasoning, get all those concepts, all those variables, and give you a quality result. Naturally, there, you know, there are implications for this. It'll impact industries. Whether or not it will actually be good is debatable. They did an example a few weeks ago in the travel industry around building an itinerary for Philadelphia, and it picked out some, uh, you know, options for things you could do that didn't make a ton of sense, like spending half an hour in Philly at the Liberty Bell, which He's, it's a crack in a bell, like bell crack. Cool. Five minutes, you move on. Anyway, it'll be really cool to see how that plays out. The other thing that I found was really, really interesting is this idea around asking questions for Google via video, video ask. Kind of mind blowing. So you just kind of upload your video, ask a question, you can show it, you know, the context of what you're looking at, and then Google will respond to that. And I think that's a pretty big game changer between the AI overviews and the video ask. If people adopt these tools and start using them, we're going to see completely different types of searches, much more complex. You're not going to see the basic one word keyword, two words keywords, trying to hope Google understands what you're saying. Much more different search journeys and the way that we track its SEOs, there are a lot of implications there. So it uses more advanced versions of Gemini. There's actually a specific um, customized version of Gemini just for search. Um, the AI organized search pages are going to include clusters of results, contextual factors for you like personalized in your search journey. And it'll be rolling out like whenever you're looking for inspiration, like dining, recipes, books, entertainment, you name it. Now, Google I.O. had a whole other bunch of announcements around like generative AI music and generative AI video. But in terms of search, those were the biggies. Start looking into it today. And, and obviously, if you do want an SG um, threat report of how this might impact your search traffic, because it probably will, at least at first, until the novelty rolls off, um, wears off, then you can check out iPoll Rank. We got a, a form on our site pretty much all over the place. Anyway, what were your um, impressions of AI overviews? What do you think of this? Big deal, kind of mad, no big deal, you know, nothing burger, fundamentally changing. I want to hear your take. Let me know.